Moss here. I don't know if it's a weekly buzz or whatever it is. Definitely not a chiropractor of cars. But we got a GoPro attached to my new Geiger counter here at church. And the baseline today is a little bit higher than it's been. It usually runs around the upper 20s and low 30s. It's at like 35 right now. It's up to 42. Okay, so check is done. It's up to 50 now. So I'm kind of concerned that it's a little higher than usual. Um, let's step out on the beach. And again, this is the fourth time I've checked the beach. And the other times it hasn't gone up what I would consider super significantly compared to like the readings that we saw up in San Francisco which were five times baseline they were up in the 150s and I've kind of doubled baseline which is like, as you get close to the beach the readings are going up a little bit actually they're up in the 60s which is double what typical baseline is for the area again I'm not an expert on Using a Geiger counter. If you got any comments or what the hell was that? Did you hear that? Like an earthquake? Oh, sonic boom or something. We got that on video. You guys just pick up. That was gnarly, man. I don't know what it was. Did you guys hear that on the? They heard that on the. They probably heard it on this camera. Not like a bomb to me. Hope it's not a nuke. Yeah, again, I mean, it's not creasing much. In fact, it's going down a little bit, if anything. And today's a really good day to check because it's a super low tide day. Uh, but it's like when I checked the fish the other day, it was like so obvious that it was elevated. I mean, it was going over 100, and then I'd walk away from the fish and it'd go down to about 30, which is background. I'd go back over to the fish again. And back up to 100. Okay, we're still at 46, 58. Sixty. Least, I mean that's the highest we've been is at 60 the whole time. And like on the other videos, that's up to 68 now. 76. Six. 74. 50. I'm actually in the water right now. It's kind of cold. 44, so yeah, I'm not picking up any increased readings at the beach. Get down close to the water even. It's like 34, that's as slow as it gets right there. 30, 24. It was kind of that way in that San Francisco video too. The closer they got to the water, those elevations dropped. So now we're going back up in the 60s again. So it might be accumulation in the sand that might be doing it too. Oh wow. But again, I don't think there's anything to freak out about yet, in my opinion. But again, like I said, if you've got any uh, recommendations or tidbits or tips on how to maybe more effectively measure this, and we're measuring it in counts per minute. Uh, again, the readings in San Francisco are as high as 150 counts per minute compared to a background of 30, which is five times. And at worst, we're probably just doubling background here and just staying between 30 and 60. So I don't really think it's a, really a huge threat here in Newport Beach, California. We'll be signing off. I think a bigger threat is what we got going on here today. 
all you people out there that think those are normal contrails. But we got a major, last two days we've been getting just gassed with aluminum hydroxide. They're even saying they're putting uranium in there now. Which maybe that's what this thing's picking up, who knows. And uh, the big concern is Fukushima. Big concern is uh, geoengineering. Big concern is waking some people up. Especially on some things like uh, buildings falling in New York. You know what I'm talking about. But don't believe me, I know I'm a conspiracy theorist. And you know, us conspiracy theorists, which are still capable of some critical thinking because we actually ask questions that make sense that most people can't answer without getting mad and having you calling us derogatory names. But bring it on, it's okay. We're used to it. We got thick skin. Billy D signing off. Rock and roll.